it's time for my 2024 house painting campaign and I should paint the uh, front door sill black I replaced this years ago and I never got any further than uh, a base paint I should finally finish up this repair that I did a few years ago this here is all uh, some sort of uh, wood rod filler the uh, underside of this window frame could use a new coat of paint and this door needs a lick of paint I should uh, take out this uh, piece of wood and glue it back in another nail got it cleaning probably the most important step when uh, doing painting Alright, I think it's now time to slap on some uh, paint. But first, a bit more cleaning so the paint will stick. So, that looks so much better. But of course, it does need a top coat. But I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with that this year. Some window sealant for the underside, a bit extra for in the corners. I prepared a new piece of wood, also with a new window seal for the ventilation. Now I need uh, my hammer to drive in the nails. Ah, damn! That's a mistake. Fuck. And last but not least, I need to close this up with some window sealant. There is some window uh, tape missing in this corner here well it's done but what a big mess this uh, brown window seal makes you can clearly see that I'm not a professional but I got it done and that uh, should count for something apparently I got the same wood because this is uh, fitting perfectly so next it needs to dry for a few days and then I can uh, paint it green and I should fill up this little rut hole before the whole door is gone. I think I got most of the rotten wood. Some of this uh, wood rot primer. Not sure how to call it. I think it's basically glue. Well, this could use some uh, paint. But. Let's first remove the last bits of the old paint. That's pretty loose. Whoa. It's a rot. Yeah, I really should replace this bit. I'll give this some, some time to dry. It's pretty wet here. This whole frame, this whole door frame is being held together with uh, bondo and glue or wood rot uh, repair it's worse than I thought so I'll uh, see if I can remove this I should probably also replace the window because it's cracked here yeah that, that was my fault I used a center that was a bit too powerful It's pretty loose. Got it. Oh. The nail stayed in. In the corner here, there's also a bit of rot. <laughs> the other nail also stayed in the window frame. 
the wood on this side of the house has a, a rather hard life. As you can see, there's uh, more rot than I expected. And this here is a uh, broken off nail, a rusty one. I guess back in the 90s when this uh, old farm was uh, rebuilt or modified, they used the uh, um, nickel plated nails. I try to use uh, stainless steel when I can. So I made up this uh, replacement part. It's it's what I had. It's also a bit smaller, but the most important thing, it's a hardwood. But it's not sitting completely flush because there's a rusty fastener there, and I'll uh, I'll grind that down now. Well, you can clearly see a previous repair here. Well, that sits a little bit better. I will uh, leave it like this so it can dry a little bit more thorough tomorrow. So now that I'm working on the uh, window frame from hell, I should probably also take care of this uh, rot spot. As you can probably see, I've done some more scraping and there's hardly any wood left to support the, um, the glass and that explains why there is a, an opening on the uh, top of the glass. On the other side of the frame there's also some work and this is also a repair from from some years ago. It should come out but not too much bone. Yeah. Yep. That needs uh, refilling. And I'm sure if I start poking here I will find more rot spots. But you gotta stop at some point. Because I'm fighting a losing battle here. And I know it. So yesterday I picked up this tin with the cheap polyester filler and this is kind of hard to remove. I tried to do it three times gracefully on camera. I wasn't able to do it. Well, I will mix this up with a screwdriver. That's enough. And now the uh, magic ingredient. All right. Well, let's fill up that hole. It's already feeling like it's getting hard. Okay, that looks about right. Of course I will have to sand it later on. So I found another little rot spot over here. And I got the feeling that the whole backside of this plank is a bit rotten. But for now I'm going to leave it like this. I also uh, installed some extra fasteners, or some extra screws in, uh, in this uh, board here to uh, reinforce the door a bit. Let's fill up this hole with some of this uh, Patex high power, high tech stuff. It's pretty thick, it should do the trick. And I'm thinking that this rod that I'm having comes from water that gets blown over the top of the door during the winter. The door is facing west. And 
we get a lot of wind coming from the west. All right, that's enough. As you can see, I did poke. And now I created a lot more work for myself. I should probably start looking for a contractor that can replace the whole frame with something made from a composite. Last winter, the nose here from this latching mechanism came out and I'm hoping some extra bondo will keep it in place. This is terrible, it never ends. And it's pretty wet in there. So, I guess this uh, needs one more day to dry. Or I'll give it just one more day to dry. Because at some point I need to fill this up before the rain starts falling again. So according to this uh, can, it takes six hours for the stuff to dry. I'll leave it uh, like this overnight and tomorrow I will fill up the uh, holes with some uh, polyester filler. This vein of rot is a bit too narrow to start painting that wood rot primer, so I'm using some oil. It's good for rust prevention. It might also be good for uh, rot prevention. Also a bit down here. It's pretty deep there. So later on, I'll use some of that uh, wood rot primer here on the front, and then I'll uh, fill things up with that footy. Well, I think that looks reasonably, but we will see how this uh, dries up. And of course I couldn't find my small putty knife, so I had to use my hands. Eh, whatever gets the job done. So, no nails needed. I know it's a pretty amateuristic uh, repair, but once I put some uh, window sealant around the edges, I think it should survive one or two Dutch uh, windows. Some wood rot primer for his uh, big rot crevasse. And then it's time to take a break because it's going to be a hot day, more than 30 degrees and I don't like the heat. While cleaning and sanding the lower part of this uh, window frame, I think I found, yeah, I definitely found another little rut spot. Well, I better take care of this as well. Looks like I hit the jackpot, but this should be an easy hole to fill up. I can see some expanding foam there, and I'm poking the stone, so this uh, hole is more significant than I thought. It's also built on top of a uh, previous repair. So the hottest part of the day is over, but there's a shower coming my way, so let's uh, quickly fill up this uh, rut spot. It's drying quickly, and that's probably because it's such a hot day. Unfortunately, the rest of this stuff is getting hard. So it's about 8 o'clock, but it's still very hot. I think maybe 28 degrees.
I'm thinking this Bondo that I'm using is not very uh, water resistant. So I'm using a bit of this uh, wood rot primer. And I'm hoping this will help seal it off from the elements. Till I, uh, till I'm ready to uh, put some paint on here. It's now nine o'clock. Soon the sun will go down. But it is still bloody hot. And it's time for me to stop. And maybe enjoy the sunset. I do hope we're getting a nice big summer shower. So I can test the uh, effectiveness of the uh, ditches that I've been digging. So it's the next day and I'm a bit worried that this uh, might come loose when it is uh, expanding or maybe contracting in the winter. I'm also a bit worried this might split when I drive in a nail. And of course this is stainless steel. Although they are a bit bigger than I like. So yesterday we didn't get any rain. But in an hour or so I bet we'll get some. So that's not enough time for me to uh, start painting. Now it can rain for all I care. Well this definitely is uh, too wet to paint. Although it is not the uh, summer shower I was hoping for. Found a new problem. It looks like I need to go up to the roof in order to fix that leak. So it's about 7 o'clock Sunday evening. And the rain is well past, so I'm roughing this up just a little bit with this uh, sponge. To be honest, there are some clouds in the skies. I'm not sure if it will stay dry tonight. Last winter, the wood from the door expanded quite a bit, and at some point it was completely stuck in the frame here. You can see some green paint that got uh, transferred from the door to the frame. Early in the spring a family friend used a uh, plane to remove some wood from the side of the door here. So it now fits uh, properly again. Well I just felt a drop of water on my arm. So I'm not going to do any painting tonight. But there's always uh, tomorrow. Brake cleaner. I love using brake cleaner. So I just bought a new can of uh, decent paint. Visonol. And it's made not that far away from here. So. Now I need to, oh, it looks a bit pink. Well, that might be the light. I also just spent ages cleaning my uh, paint brushes. I store them in a uh, mixture of turpentine and uh, linseed oil. And that can get a bit of a mess after a year or two. Well, you can clearly see a bit of a pink color and of course this paint was on sale so 
it was probably standing for a long time so I need to mix this up thoroughly and it probably also needs a shot of uh, turpentine yeah it takes forever before you can actually start painting so I've been mixing this up for at least 10 minutes now so let's start uh, painting looks and feels a bit thin but it will be fine as you can see I uh, installed some uh, tape to uh, prevent for the uh, drips that are always falling a little bit of paint on the glass is not a problem because I can scrape that away and obviously I'm not going to paint the whole frame just the spots that I fixed up I should probably use a green color for this but I don't feel like opening up another can of paint right now I better make sure that the door stays open because the wind is going to blow it closed again and of course some drops fell so next I need to uh, close up the can alright go swim and it's always a good idea to properly clean the lid time spent cleaning the lid will pay off So, that looks a little bit better than that stupid white color, that ugly white color. So, that's nice enough for now. The uh, top coat will have to wait till next year when I'm probably painting the whole door including the uh, ugly brown inside I installed a piece of uh, angle iron aluminium above the door so it won't get as wet as last winter and hopefully not expand to a point where it gets completely stuck and here's a few from the underside with some paint it doesn't look too bad and I'm hoping it will protect the door in the coming winter although I would have preferred a bigger overhang built over there from there to there maybe I don't know three roof tiles wide anyway maybe that's something for next year let's just hope this uh, will work out in the coming winter well, I'm done with my uh, prep work, so let's uh, paint this sill black. This here is the same cheap black paint that I got on my lathe. Let's hope it will do just as well outdoors. So, it probably needs a second coat after it has uh, dried a bit that looks a lot better a lot better than that uh, gray base paint but in a few days I will probably add another layer of paint well that's it here I'm stopping my 2024 painting campaign